Hey everyone, Colton Locke here, aka Fun Tippity Colton, with another single tracks gear review. Today we are checking out stinky clothes. Yep, you heard me right. We are looking at stinky clothes and how to de stink them. This is my favorite way to make my kids not smell. Let's go check it out. So here's the deal for today everyone. We're just finishing up a ride and headed back to the house where unfortunately I've got a whole bunch of dirty, sweaty, smelly bike clothes, I'm sure you guys know the feeling, that my wife won't let anywhere near the inside of a house because no matter how many times I wash them in the washing machine, the smell just won't go away. It's in ground into the microfibers of the clothes and they just constantly smell. You'd be hard pressed to find an athlete whose equipment doesn't smell. It's just kind of a normal thing. So this is the way I've learned to get that stench out of my clothes and make my riding buddies okay with letting me lead again. Let's go take a look. So we're just finishing up our ride and I'll say that this method is super easy. It only takes one special ingredient in maybe an hour's time with only two or three minutes of actual work. That special ingredient, vinegar. The vinegar acts as an agent to kill the bacteria that's stuck in the microfibers of your clothes. Let's go check out what kind of vinegar I use. Now make sure you choose the right kind of vinegar. Do not choose apple vinegar. That will make the clothes smell even worse than before. The right kind to choose is just plain distilled white vinegar like I have here. Here are the bike clothes in question. There is one prior step I do to this that helps a ton and after every ride I make sure to hang these so they can air dry. Leaving them in a pile on the floor or in a dirty clothes hamper or even worse leaving them in a hot car just makes them stink even worse. In here I've got bibs, jerseys, socks, and the one thing that I seem to always leave in the car, gloves. Don't forget to bring your gloves in and throw them in here as well. Step number one is to fill the tub up with water. Now you just need to fill it high enough to submerge all of the articles of clothing. You don't need to fill it to the top because that's just going to dilute your vinegar solution. The next step is to go ahead and toss all of the articles of clothing into the water. The next step is to add the secret ingredient. Now use this very sparingly on your first try. If you use too much, your clothes could be stuck smelling like vinegar. For a load this size, I typically use about a cup, a cup and a half, and that seems to do the trick just right. After the clothes have soaked for 30 to 60 minutes, it's time to toss them in the washing machine. Now I tend to avoid the washing machine with bike clothes as often as possible because it takes a tough toll, but when I do use it, I make sure to switch it to a delicate setting to preserve the clothes as long as possible. As you can see here, these have been washed many times and it's starting to cause a toll on these. The chamois is splitting on the outside here. This pair of the chamois is split on the inside and these ones have been washed so much that they're almost see-through at this point. And the final step is to take them out and hang dry them. And you should be back in action. But don't take my word for it. Let's see if it passes the wife test. Lauren, what do you think? Here's the verdict, folks. Pretty good. I think they're ready to come back in the house. All right, there you have it. So leave me a comment and let me know if you guys have a great technique to clean your bike clothes. Be sure to head over to singletracks.com for a whole bunch more cool content and click this link right here to subscribe because we've got another awesome video headed your way next week. Of course, follow me on Instagram and Strava at FunTivityColton. Thanks for hanging out today. We'll catch you on the trail. Bye.